Wusham <laughs> Baba was his abutan about Sus but the killing in the Saturday Zelan is in your sack Something something way Something something way Something something way I cannot believe that boy You know who you are with your hair Your golden hair Anyway I, you know, I read a post the other day on uh, February <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> February, get it? Anyway, uh, and it says that men will take you, use you, and then be born again, and then use you as a testimony. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they will do what? Sleep with you. Use you. Be born again. And use you as a testimony. Are you for real? Serious? You're gonna be that girl, huh? Are you gonna be that girl? Testimony number 16. Ah, today the Lord, the Lord has touched me to speak a to speaketh about my past discrepancies when I was a young man Lord oh Lord I was a young man and I was doing the young man things I was in here I was out there everywhere you wanna be that girl huh you wanna be that girl one of those hoes I done did this with that motherfucker over there are you serious do you even anyway who Anyway, my point is, we should really just think about the shit we're doing in my life, eh? you know? Like, be busy, do something, okay? Do do something. Scarpa, like, really? Three kids, you're not even 21 years old? Are you serious right now? Three kids, and you are not even 21? What the fuck are you doing? Like what the fuck are you really doing? Like, like, no, huh? really? Damn. Anyway, my referee can touch it along my life here, no boy. And my, I've got a problem with all of that, man. But you know, that's being judgmental. By the way, speaking about judgmental people, um, it says in the Bible, "Do not tire of doing good, for." Blessed is the hand that gives more than the one that receives. Do you understand what that means, man? How can somebody get tired of doing good things? I mean, check your colors. Touchdown 326. Are you serious? <sighs> Y'all got me wanting some replenishment on a Tuesday. I must say, you guys. Mama say, Mama say, Mama pussy. I need to calm down. You guys are just. I need to calm the fuck down. Anyway, whew, I'm calm now. Thank you very much. I was saying that. Hey, don't be sad. How is this? Don't be. I'm not doing wrong. It's not just don't be my life thing. But very, what can we do? Such things sometimes have to happen. What I'd really like to actually address is the difference between generalization and racism. You know, like, I mean, I use a lot of generalized terms to address a certain group of people, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes, I mean, really, what is this racism? You know what I mean? If I say that, um, I don't know, what's what's racist, bruh? Like, I mean, sometimes I hear all these complaints on the internet, you know, I'm thinking, nah, some of these are not really racist comments, you know? They're not really racist comments. They are, like, generalized terms, like, you know? If some white person says something about black people, I'm trying to figure out what white people say about black people or what I've heard in the past couple of weeks, you know. 
But yeah, man, I mean, we should really look at the whole thing here, yeah, generalization versus racism, you know? I mean, where do we draw the line? Come on. At the end of the day, I thought that my son had something to say, you know what I mean? We gotta shut up because we don't have nothing to say, you know? You know? Hell no. You know, so we need to really just really come up with like a true definition or defining definition of what generalization is and what racism is because yeah man, come on dude, like cow. Something uh general and then people are gonna think oh she's such a racist, you know what I mean? And they think it restricts our conversation with white people, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to have a restricted, I'm trying to have him or her say something general about black people and I don't want to be offended by it, you know what I mean? But if now everything that people say, you know, towards each other is going to be considered hate speech or is going to be considered um, a racist comment, then y'all, what are we supposed to talk about? Really? Like, oh my goodness. No, man. Like, this is why this country is going to the shits, actually. Because nobody wants to say anything. And everybody wants things for whatever they say is going to be considered a rude situation. And uh, hence, we can't really, you know, communicate. Do you know what I mean? If I offend you, it's not necessarily that I want to offend you. Sometimes I just want to offend them off. But I'm just joking. <laughs> no. <laughs> but sometimes you know you just want to say something and it shouldn't be a, an, an offense it's like uh, um, I really like you oh you know a lesbian cuz they fucked it I'm joking um no anyway uh, I, I like you you know and then people are gonna think ha huh, okay they like me like me like me like like me, and no matter you just saying for it, like you know what I mean. So yeah, no man, let's really watch. Um, I have, I think everyone should have their where they draw the line. Yeah, for okay, shop. Itcho, don't overstep this boundary because, like, that's boundary. Ooh, nunk, drag nunk. My goodness. <laughs> um. Don't don't overstep this line because now that's like enough, you know what I mean? It's like yo you can't You can't say to me oh, I wish I could kill you because you are dating that girl and I want to date that girl. That's just wrong. You can't say that. I think that would be rude. Look then tone. Have you really, really considered it? Because I mean, tone really sets up everything, bruh. Like you know, even even when you text or whatever, your tone sort of global transcends. I think that's the right word. <laughs> Tra you know what I mean? It it yeah into whatever you're saying. It reflects in simpler English. You know, and. I mean, dude, tone is everything. I always say this to people, man. Tone is everything. But hey, sometimes I can't restrict it. It just, you know, blood out and whatnot. You know, gotta do it the right day. And sometimes I'm just playing with you. People are just too damn serious. Um, people must just relax, okay? Like chill, okay? Like chill. Here, my dog. I'm just saying. Do rag, don't get in this motherfucker. Um, oh yeah, and by the way, um, I'm gonna stop cursing so much. I'm trying to live a good life, you know, I'm trying to follow the Lord, I'm trying to be on the straight and narrow. And, and you know, I lead, I lead my life, I lead my life in, in, um, how shall I put it? In a controversial, but responsible way because you know the Lord does say live as me you know 
as in we are people so we must try by all means to live like the lord like jesus and be good people and um whatever the principles die and things like that so i try to lead that way you know but don't mean i won't curse you up it doesn't mean i won't beat you up it just means that you know you gotta really push a button you know what i mean I'm being stupid right now. Okay. Dragnook in the mouth. <laughs> oh shit. I wasn't recording, bruh. <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, that's funny, bruh. Okay. Um. Uh. Holla when you see me. Selfie when you need to. I'm Adi, bruh. Anyway. I lost that flow. Yo, I was reading out the credits. So, shot by this PC, music by listening to 94.7 and Mother Nature, um, written by the higher power. Um, what else is there? Presented by yours truly, Duragnonke. Holla, baby, I love you too. You know I do. And if you don't believe me, You know what I mean?